lake today and we're going to try to catch some fish for um, tacos. We're going to make fish tacos. So it's very windy today. And let's see what we catch. just said I have first cast curses. No. Is that real? One He's hooked. Me, Barely. First cast and then the ah. the day, I caught nothing until I caught a tiny little the same size. So I just got a rock bass. I don't know. A, a rock bass edible? Can you keep a rock bass? I don't know. It's not even worth keeping. So... Bye bye. First cast. Nice. Rock bass are back again. Tail still on. This is this is ridiculous. What? a fish, a bass. I'm gonna have to look for my measuring tape. Okay. I'm gonna measure it. It's pretty hard to steer and not drop your thing. Okay. Here. You lift the fish. Lift it so I could lift it out of the net. I, 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 in, in the net like this? Yes, okay. <laughs> yes, like, I think something got I guess you see. I, I, Eric, I can't measure it like that. Oh no, it came off the hook. Alright, I think I'm better at shore. Okay. I just caught a nice, a big bass. Look at him. And thank God he's barely hooked. Thank God we have the net. What a lifesaver. And then we have a num number two. Eric, don't don't let me hold this. I can't hold. It. Oh wow, my, a lot bigger than the last one. <laughs> Eric, please hold it. Hold the net. I can't hold it with one hand. All right, we're tangled, but whatever. Well, I have to fix this. Yeah, the net, the net is a lifesaver today. Yep. All right, so we're gonna bring it to shore and put it in our little bag. I'm gonna make fish tacos. Let's measure him. Yeah, that's a good one. Eric, Eric, keep an eye on him, you dummy. All right. Dummy? Yep. Hold on. 15. The last one was 12. I don't wanna prick my fish. And I mean, all right, keep him there. Putting this here, put him in the net, rinse him off. Yeah, Eric. Here 
Alright. Now oh, it's ready. Eric has one. I have to get the net. Where is he? Yes! Ooh, we got another keeper. Wow. Three nice keeper bats. <laughs> wow. Now we have to go back. Oh, he's hooked nicely. Let's go back, Eric. Well, let's measure him now. That's on. Ah! <laughs> oh, this guy is massive. These fat tanks wow. over here. Alright, oh, yeah, just keep him like that. <laughs> Where is he? Did he swim away? Oh, well, he's under there. Get him. Oh my away. god. Now, where's my measuring tape? It's over there. He, look, I, saw he was I don't see it. Oh my god. Keep, keep it hold. Yeah, hold on to this. My foot. He is 13 and a half. No, I don't know. I put him on the ground here. Yeah. Oh, he's 15. 15. No, 14 and three quarters. And a quarter inch shorter. All right, Eric, put it back. Now let's go home. It's getting cold out here. We're gonna go home. Let's fillet all three of our fishies. The first one was about, uh, he was 12 inches, second 14, no, second 15 inches, third was 14 and 3 quarters. So I have a big job to do. So let's go home early, so I'm not going to bed at 12, at midnight. We're here at home now, and we got this big fish, I think this might be 14 and 3 quarter inches. I'm going to fillet it now. So. I'm supposed to do it like this. I'm going to put my knife in. And just go up along. Don't go too far off like he did last time. Yeah, I learned from my mistake last time. I went, I yeah. went all the way down here, and, and I got that's some advice from my family, and they said to start over here. So it's gonna, I'm gonna try. That's far. I think that's far enough down. Oh, that's yes, perfect. Okay, we'll start over here. No. You can just do it the normal way. Okay. So I'm making some quick and good progress on this fish. I'm going uh, above the ribs. So I'm gonna I'm finishing this fillet. Taking the skin off of it. This is what I got off of this guy. He has a huge rib cage. Look at this guy. This is all. This is bone right here. This is not meat. This is bone. Oh no. <laughs> this is like it's pretty nice fillet.
first fillet. I'm trying to keep that other piece up. Uh, on it. Oh, that's our first one. The first taco. We're gonna weigh our fish. This is what it came out to. Look at these guys. They're so nice. They're like, I don't know, uh, tilapia flies? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. They're pretty big. It's way, how much fillets do we have? 25, oh yeah. 25.40. 25.40 ounces. So that means it's 24.36 ounces minus the container. So the container weighs an ounce. So, the, so how much is it? 24 ounces and 36. All right, so 24 ounces. Yeah, 24. And how much is that in pounds? Uh, it's like 2 pounds. Hold on, hold on. So I look it up on Google, so it's exactly 1.5 ounces. Or one, 1 pound, 5 ounces. Look at the time. I broke my hand for laying all those three fish. I've been laying since 8.45. It's 10.21. But at least we got some good meat. Oh, wow. So we're gonna cook it up on Friday. Today is Monday. And good thing our garbage comes on Wednesday so we don't have fish sitting in our freezer for a week. Like we did the last catch and cook. It was there from Thursday the whole weekend so let let's cook them up on Friday. No, I meant I meant to give, give me your hand. I meant to give me your hand. So I got one and I got a little one in there too. We have I don't know how many. We have, I think, six of them. I'd say that's enough. Let's see what he wants to do. That's one you missed earlier. Oh, that big guy? Yeah. Okay, we got one more. Eric, that's enough. Okay, now our catching is complete. We're gonna cook our crawfish now. I'm gonna boil them and get them ready for tomorrow. Let's put this back. It's already boiling. Hmm? It's already boiling. Mm -hmm. It's a fan one. And we got our crawfish in there. Crawfish. Mm -hmm. Boy, then we'll cook them halfway. For how long there? Mm -hmm. Three minutes. Okay. I don't want to touch them. Oh, well, yes, I'll go in. Okay, I got it. Put him in. Don't burn yourself there. Does it curl up? Yeah, he's turning okay, so that fan's good. Here, give me this. Oh, hold on. Okay. 
Now put them in quick. Okay, it's a big hog. <laughs> yeah, this guy's has no claws. So hard to win. Okay, last one. <laughs> That's it. Seven of them. Look at him boiling away over there. Let's take them out. We're not fully cooking them, just cooking them enough so we could uh, deshell them. Because they're way too hard to take the shell off when they're raw. That's the last one. It's this tiny. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take the tail off this guy. So we have to twist it. You don't you shouldn't you don't want that. No. Then I, what do I do next? No, you twist. You take the tail off. Okay, that's right. Is that it? Yeah. You just put it over there. And then you twist it in the middle. Oh, the shell. Huh? Yeah, you twist it in the middle so you can pull one out part off and then the other. This? Yeah, and then I'll take one more. Okay, now I'll take the other one. Should I do the other way? I guess that works. Yeah, take the poop. Line out. I lost it. You just run your finger through the middle. Hmm? Like you're turning it out through the middle and all. Okay. Yeah, so that's good. There we go. So now we're going to start to cook our tacos. And we have our fish getting prepared over here. Look at them. These nice fillets. We're going to put our crayfish into the butter now. Like that. So we're cutting our fillets into pieces. We're gonna make small tacos. Look at them all. So we seasoned our fish with creole and black pepper. I'm gonna fry it in grapeseed oil. So we're flouring our fishies up. And let's put it inside the oil. Alright, that's batch one. This is how our first batch came out. They look pretty good. So now we're outside and we're going to pick some garnish. So we have some lettuce. This is my garden. I have lettuce, oregano leaves, 
and mint leaves, so we could garnish it with that. Let's pick some iceberg lettuce. Only the good leaves. This is iceberg lettuce and our, our yeah, look at that. Our leaf lettuce is getting eaten alive. Getting eaten by bugs, I don't know why. But this one is staying alive. This no, that's not good. I'm pick this one, this one. This one? This one? I don't know. This one again. They all have. This no effect. They all have holes in them. This is a shame. This one doesn't. All the good ones have holes in them. Eh, this one. Not this that. one has one hole. You just put this one. It's a nice one. Oh, here we're going without holes. Here. I think we have enough of that. <laughs> Can I get some? Pick some oregano. My plant is huge. Can I huge. pick some kale too? I don't know, man. I'll pick this big one. Because I think this is the biggest. Is there kale leaves? Pick some oregano. Yeah. Well, I'll wash this inside. You can pick some mint too. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Nice leaves on this dock. Let's get some mint. Get out how big our mint leaves are. We have to use this stuff for something because it, it, they're just sitting here. You just pick up the stock and then we we'll bring it inside. But I want I want to let it grow still. I want to. Yeah, we leave this out in like for another month. It'll just get eaten by caterpillars. Mm-hmm. That's enough. Let's go. Here's my squash, gherkin, and cucumber. Now we're taking out the last batch. So nice they came out. And over there we're making rice. Mexican rice for a side. And there are little crawfish bites in there. More like crawfish nibbles. So I'm going to start assembling my tacos. I'm going to take a fish. That's enough. Then put some slaw on top. And a fresh lettuce leaf from and the garden. From our garden. And we close it up, and there's our taco.